Hey guys, um, being here today. Let's model this family. So it's a parametric family. So which um, we can change the height or the width. Okay. So let's start. So first, create a generic model adaptive and. Uh, Go to floor plan. Create some reference plan. I'll pay. Um, let's let's just offset some reference plan. So, in the dimension equal in the dimension. Uh, create a width. Let's call it W. Type is fine. And now place some points. So reference point set uh, set work plan on level. It's good. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So let's go to three view and uh, um, we will need to set these four points. And uh, create a let's just change the height of the points. So for example, 600, and then create a height. So let's call it, um, or let's call it H H2. Okay, so H2, because um, I'm going to create, go to elevation and uh, create uh, draw a reference plan, and uh, I'm going to have this as h1 so this will be the uh, overall height so h1 is this one and h2 is, uh, is the offset of these points so go back to 3d view so the middle points which is this one will be offset a little bit maybe let's call, uh, call it h3 Not type is fine okay and then I'm typing 200 for now. So now we have nine points. So these three spline, reference line, spline, reference line, and spline, reference line. Okay, so select. Oh, this one's not reference line yet. Oh, no, this one. Okay, so now let's select these three, create form. So this will be the form of that shape. And then select this surface and divide surface. So that's yeah, roughly about that number. So okay, so and also go here, turn on the nodes. So the next step we need to create these um like beams. So we need to uh, create a new family, so generic model adaptive and uh, place three points so one two three make adaptive spline reference line and then we need to have a vertical always vertical profile so which we need another generic model adaptive and then place one point make adaptive and then uh, model line, draw on work plan. Uh, I'll pick, I'm not sh I can't remember which one, so I'll just guess this one. And uh, draw, let's draw a um, rectangular shape, so something like that. This, so I will guess maybe 20 by 120. Okay, so. And also, I'm just going to move that to center here. Um, for this beam, I'm going to select this and create this. I'll call it H4. So this will be the height of the um, the beam. Okay. So type is fine. Oh, hang on. Type. Can't remember. Type or instance. I'll just use type for now. If if it doesn't work. I'll just come and come here and ch change it. So 
Okay, which one? So now we need to load this into um, into this. So the, which is family nine. I'll load this into family nine. And uh, oh, sorry, cancel it. Before that, I need to go here, select this uh, adaptive uh, point, and change this to change this to. Uh, I guess this one. Okay, so I'll load this to family nine, and let's place. So looks okay. If I move this point up. See them. It's this profile's always vertical. Yeah, all good. So um, now I need to create another two. So one, two, three. So the first one. Let's click on this point. No, this point. Yeah, change that to zero. And this one. Change that to 0 0.5 and uh, this one change it to 1. So now we have three uh, profile and let's select these 1, 2, and 3 and uh, create a form. Okay, so and also um, let me check if I can. Uh, account because it's a share family account. Um, previous I did type parameter, so let me just go um, go back there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm still not quite um, sh sure about all the this share family or the parameter instance type. But sometimes just need to like uh, 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 try so. Here I'm going to go um, to family types and change this to uh, instance. Okay, and the lower back to family nine. So now if I select this SA, select all, and then I'll just create a H H H4. I'll just use instance now. And uh, I'm also going to um, check this. So you won't see this in this family. Okay, so load this into here and then I can place so one, two, three. And um, you can see it's not right. It's, it should be vertical. So let's go back, edit this family. Mm. So that's an option here, All, always vertical. Yeah, so check that, load that back, down, so now select it, repeat, good, so now let me temporarily hide it, and then create another one, so one, and two, and three, so now repeat, and HR, so now this is the shape we look we looking for so um let me try to select tab select so that's a h4 i'll select all and i'll just create create another parameter here h4 so type is five so now what we need to do is if i go to front so this is H1, so H1 will be the overall height and H2 will be from here to this point and H3 is the, the, from here to this point H4 is the from this point to the top here so what we need to do is we go here so H1, H2 so I'll just uh, add a, a formula here H2 equals H1 um, minus H4 apply what's happening here so it looks like it's too high maybe it's, it's okay maybe sometimes when it's too high it won't it will have some it won't uh, create so 
some sweep and then some warning there so what we can do is just change it up to a bit lower so see we come back so um, good so now we need maybe I'll just add a um, glass this uh, a panel a glass panel on the top okay so let's go to floor plan so I'm going to draw some more reference plan so so with offset maybe 50 offset then I'll just one here uh, two three four and then go to front from view I'm just going to give a name let's call it H let's call it top okay and then go back to floor plan uh, I'm going to draw some reference reference line and draw on work plan set and pick the top and okay and then draw a, a rectangle here here lock 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 and the lock and okay so if I go to 3d view you will see this reference down there select it and then create form so you can just create this solid form and then I don't want to go up change this to zero and I want to, it to go down you can create a parameter of the thickness of this or you can just type in something that, like this and also you can just um, tap select and then give a material or parameter so now we have this glass panel but see this it's it's uh touching uh, we want them to touch not like go into the glass so what we can do is just go there and then minus 12 the thickness of the glass so we go down so now it's finished so you can try to adjust this so maybe um, 1200 width oh hell so see this offset it's not locked let me go back control Z and go to floor plan so we need some dimension here so for example this let's just add some dimension here so I'm not, not going to make parameters for the margin I'm just going to lock them so 50-50 and now if I go to 3D view and then flex in the parameters 1200 good and then if I change height of H H H4 is the uh, profile the height of the profile if I make the margin mill if I change the overall height H1 to um, maybe 600 of 450 yeah so that's that's it um, okay so if you have any questions let me know and uh, I'll see you next time oh I'll yeah I'll probably like upload this family and you can have a look okay thank you